Mother's Day songs. Toxic Britney Spears. Me chilling on my phone in the next room while my parents talk about how much of a shit kid I am. Being a parent can be such a joy. I know I love being a mom to my little one. However, kids can drive us insane. But what happens when our children think that we as parents are insane? Today, I thought it would be fun if we went through the subreddit r slash insane parents. Hello everyone, I hope that you are all doing well today. My name is Beth or Queen of Spade. Please do give this video a like, subscribe if you're new, and without further ado, let's throw some spade. So grab a snack and grab a drink and hey, if it's alcohol, I won't judge. Thank God it's Friday, right? And let's just get into the cringe, guys. Just a quick little disclaimer, these videos are for entertainment purposes only. Please do not find anyone shown in the videos and send them any hate. We are an anti-bullying channel as well as an anti-multi-level marketing channel. I do not condone any hate, even towards the Karens that may attack under these videos. I can take them myself. Thank you. Now, let's get into it. Thanks, and work is good. Do not treat me as though I am a child. I am your mother and grown woman who went through hell to get to where I am. I am trying to make peace. I am not a kid to explain myself to you. If you cannot accept what I said and for us to move on, then there is nothing more I can do or say. You have m Good morning! Have a good day! I'm in tears. I don't know what else to do. I'm fighting for my babies. My youngest is due to have his 12-month poisons. It doesn't matter what I put in front of my partner. He is still determined that he is having them because the disease, according to him, is worse than the vaccines. I have sent him studies under the wire videos. You name it, I've done it. I don't know what else to do. I've watched Vax 1 and 2. Anything I send him, his reply is, it suits my narrative, and that I need to look at the other side. Okay, the risks might be small. That That's not saying that our child isn't going to be one of the unfortunate one that has lifelong, serious health implications. I'm not going to give up. I've already stated that he can take him to have them done, and he can live with knowing that he deliberately did this to our child, clutching at straws, and I probably shouldn't have, but I was upset and frustrated. <laughs> hmm, this is what I would consider doing, and don't bring it up for a little while, then pretend you had a change of heart and maybe he's right, but you want to space them out. Then, pretend the baby has a doctor appointment and you take him. Put a small band-aid on the fake site. Go so far as stating the baby is cranky from the fake shot, etc. This is war and we need to save and protect our babies in my opinion! Damn, sweetie, calm down. Satan is creating a new world order through the men of this world till he appears on the sk countdown to eternity. Barack Obama! Give what it wants. Happy Father's Day. Hope you stay safe and have a good time with, well, all them and all that. I will walk my ass straight through COVID-19 riots, looting and murder hornets to cast my vote. Trump 2020 with no mask. Hallelujah.
my mom after smashing my PC, breaking my phone, ripping out my spine, and sending my brother into orbit just because she can't find her shoes. Almost lost my cool there. Okay, if you won't tell me the name, you and I are done. Sorry. Goodbye! Happy fucking Father's Day! Devil! Okay. If that's your decision, then I'm beyond done. Way to make it about yourself. This is immature, petty, and mean. I'm sorry my sexual assault is somehow a reason for you to disown me. This is crazy and ridiculous, and I'm not putting up with it anymore. I was raised to respect myself and not let people bully me. Call me when you realize what you're doing, are ready to get yourself help, and ready to change. I can't do this with you anymore. Blocked! My daughter expresses an opinion I don't agree with. I'll take away her phone because it's making her rude, slash she's being blackmailed. She looks sad, and I make fun of her for it and yell at her to be happier. Why doesn't my daughter like sitting with me? My mom telling me to behave or I'll regret it right before she opens the door for guests. My mom when she opens the door. Love is an open door. Love is an open door. Love is an open door. to make a wish. I wish my parents accepted me for who I am. No. When you've never done drugs, smoked, or dropped out of college, but your parents still call you a disappointment in life. Confused. Confusing. Confusion. Getting your child vaccinated. Saying it causes autism and punishes you whenever you bring up the subject and how vaccinations aren't good. Eh, wrong. Angsting about life choices and taking it out on their kids. Moving on and living a better life. Parents! You remember the little red button? Yeah. Push the little red button. And you may want to put on a seatbelt. Okay. Seeing memes on r slash insane parents and finding them funny. Finding some of the memes relatable. Finding myself trying to justify how the parents are acting. Realizing that I have been justifying my parents' scrappy actions for years! Ah! Me begging her to stop. My mother mocking my diagnosed mental illnesses and beating me up because I self-harm. I'm so sorry, that's just not good for anyone. Well, grandson not even born yet and I'm told I will never see him why? Because I refuse to go get a toxic cocktail of aborted fetuses, heavy metals, and various diseases that can cause autism or cripple you while it mutates your DNA with cells that never stop dividing. Cancer. Shot into my arm to appease her psychotic, ignorant fears. This is another twist of the knife, from burying my son, having my daughters kidnapped for years. Now we're on to grandparent alienation. She wasn't this stupid before she went to college. Damn college giving her vaccine education? Baskin! So I'm guessing the reason that you're not speaking to me is because Sean moved back in. I don't want to hurt to and hope you can stay in my life. I told you my boundaries. You chose him over family. It's public court record that you requested he not go to jail, and I'm blown away that you do that after all you have been through and all the support from Mama and Papa. I love you very much and I'm here for you if he hurts you again, but I'm extremely disappointed and hurt and don't want to talk right now. Why would you ever do that? You stopped taking our calls and I told you I was going to show up if you did not answer, Monica. You are being extremely ungrateful and I don't deserve this. Ungrateful? You showed up at my job demanding to talk to me. What are you talking about? I could have gotten fired from the scene you made. As deserved. 
Don't ever contact me again or I'm calling the police. I'm done this, this. This is absolute insanity. Because the police would help someone who is wrongfully trying to keep her poor mother away. You dumbass! Shut up! It's like I'm 16 all over again. My dad making me overstudy seeing my cousin with, with, A plus grades not studying. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. <sighs> Why can't we ever talk to each other openly? For us to bond like that, I'd need you to acknowledge a lot of things you did to me when I was a child that truly hurt me and still hurt to this day. I don't want you to go through that level of guilt and discomfort, though, but that also means a part of me will always resent you for making those mistakes. It's probably easier to pretend neither of us are hurt by any of this. Parents, you can talk about what's bothering you. Well... Also, parents! Well, who was talking before then? Anyway. You should be happy you only suffer half of what I did. Me. Me when I was eight, thinking I'm the luckiest kid in the world because my parents like me. Me five years later. So that was a fucking lie. When anything can set your parents off, but you've figured out over time what triggers them and operate according to complex strategies of aquascience and deception. This is fine. At the family dinner, Mom, have some more food from my plate. Me, no. Mom insists. Me. Fine. Mom goes on rant saying how I'm taking things from her plate and how she always does shit for me. Me. Okay then, you can have it back. Mom. No, you have it. It's on your plate. Me. Huh? Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me! So as you can see, sometimes our parents are a little bit insane, and sometimes even the kids are a bit insane, so I guess it's fair to say we all make each other drink. Anyway, that is going to be it for my r slash insane parents video. Please do give it a like, subscribe if you're new here, I would really appreciate that, and no matter where you are or what you're doing, I hope that you all have a fabulous, fabulous day. Take care, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Yeah, yeah.